Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a Sotero and today's pick a card reading is going to be looking at if the person you are thinking of is a soulmate. So we have three piles today, pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you're new to pick a card readings, I'll quickly explain how they work. Uh, basically, you're gonna go ahead and have your person in mind um, and decide which um, card or stone you feel most drawn to. Um, if you need to like pause the video and wait on it a little bit, that's absolutely fine. Or if you feel like there's maybe multiple messages in both decks, um, you can absolutely check out more than one. It's really up to you. But basically, once you find the um, pile that you are most interested in looking at, that you feel most drawn to, then you can go ahead and scroll down to the description box below to find your reading. So go ahead and do that and we will look and see if this person is your soulmate. Hi there, pile one. If you guys chose the red, either carnelian or jasper heart and the golden girls tarot, this is your reading and this is the is this your soulmate reading i don't know why i just repeated that but let's get on to the answer is this person your soul a soulmate or your soulmate uh most likely yes um we have a lot of um interesting energies here um but definitely the overlying first of all i just we have to talk about the fact that passion showed up here twice and we had the sacral chakra um and the empress so i definitely can say for sure your person is not only very attracted to you but also there is definitely that like really strong chemistry that pulls two people together um honestly i i want to give it a full resounding yes that this person is a soulmate um i know i said most likely but i think with all of this evidence here i i feel like maybe um the uncertainty comes from both of you guys like maybe you're both in this situation where i feel like you both really 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 like each other and you could already be in a relationship but i feel like for most of you um you're not i feel like this is maybe more of like a talking situationship um, possibly friends with benefits for some of you because like I feel like this person really sees a lot of potential here but I also feel like they're a bit intimidated by you and uh, that makes a lot of sense because for some reason what as soon as I started this reading and turned on the camera I was like oh like like overwhelmed and intimidated which is kind of ridiculous because I do this all the time <laughs> um so I definitely feel like your person is a bit intimidated by you and theoretically if they are I was definitely feeling like the viewer was more the empress not it doesn't matter what gender you are but one of you is definitely this king of pentacles and one of you is definitely the empress and I feel like for a lot of you, this person isn't quite a king of pentacles yet, but that's what they're aspiring to reach. It's very possible they might be a page looking to fill the shoes of a king, um, but I feel like more the page is more about like influence in this connection, not like outside influence, but just the general energies occurring here. Um, we have the ace of pentacles on the back of the deck, and I feel like the main idea here is that your person definitely, definitely, definitely sees a future with you, a potential, like a stable commitment, something that, like honestly, you seem like all that in a bag of chips to this person, and I agree with them, but uh, they definitely, you know, we have, this could be the one, we have passion twice, and then we have a lot of pentacles talking about finances. And so I feel like maybe right now your person is really working on working up the courage to either offer, make some kind of offer, or they're just trying to build themselves up right now so they can be who you need them to be. I feel like there's a lot of um, creative connection here, possibly an intellectual connection as well. Um, 
but I think maybe you both have similar interests in the arts or music or like you bond over some type of artist or artists or um, basically anything artistic, uh, buzzword of the day. <laughs> I feel like you guys really bond over that and you guys have Banksy's coming out a lot. So maybe some of you like Banksy um, or I don't know, that just felt like it had to come out. I do feel like both of you um, see each other in a very, very good light. And like you both kind of see each other with rose colored glasses, but not in like the negative way, just more of like, oh, I really like this person. Um, I have really strong feelings for them. So of course you're going to see all their best qualities and everything that makes them great. And I think as a result, it definitely makes both of you nervous. I feel like if you clicked on this video and you chose this pile, um, you're kind of in that mode, like this mode of like, I definitely feel like this person is a soulmate, but I'm not completely sure. Like, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and, you know, make myself think something if it's not necessarily true. And I really feel like this is all a mental block. Um, this worry card, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And this two of swords, I feel like this really kind of shows that maybe you both are um, deluding yourselves to the strength of this connection. Um, I mean, we have passion here twice, so I feel like there is a really, really, really strong physical attraction here, um, emotional, like, like, yeah, you guys are soulmates, um, and I definitely feel like your person really wants to come forward and offer you something substantial. The fact that we have this Ace of Pentacles next to the King of Pentacles, I feel like just kind of shows, um, you know. First, his hand's holding it here, but eventually he wants to offer it to the Empress. And I think that, you know, for some of you, maybe your person is in the process of becoming this King of Pentacles. With finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. You know, maybe they work a lot and they're really trying to build up their material abundance. And so they're trying to keep things light and casual. It's also possible that maybe this person hasn't necessarily um, had much experience in true, like authentic love. You know, maybe they've had flings or maybe one partner in the past, but I feel like they have a hard time getting really serious. I feel like they would rather um, kind of stick to themselves and, and do whatever they're working on. And so I think for some of you, this person is a bit of a page trying to fill the shoes of a king, but I do feel like they will get there eventually. Um, I just think for some of you that it, it might take some time, but for others, I do feel like this process is further along. The fact that we have a ton of sunsets, I feel like it's just like signifying the fact that um, there will be like change soon, I guess. I don't, I don't know why that, that's just the vibe that I'm getting. Um, but yeah, your person is really, really, really attracted to you. Um, they think that you are smoking <laughs> and they are, yeah. If you're wondering if they can feel it too, they can feel it too. I mean, double passion, like, come on, how often like does that pop out? I don't, I've never had that happen before. So um, yeah, there, there is a strong connection here. And I think, you know, maybe you might be hearing something soon about a possible offer or something of that nature. But I feel like maybe your person wants to communicate to you how they're feeling a little more, but they're going to do it in a very straightforward way because I feel like maybe they're not too great with their emotions and kind of like laying them all out on the table. But I think that if you guys already had like, a really super intimate or once you guys have if you guys end up having a super intimate connection your person is at that point not going to have any problems telling you their feelings and, and, and telling you all their thoughts but I feel like it's just right now because um this is newer and there's maybe still walls up or your person is not as close to you as they'd like to be so they haven't seen you for, they're still looking at you through those uh, rose colored glasses, essentially. And so they really, really care about what you think. 
and I think that's kind of what's holding them back and that's what's making them worried. But I feel like you're kind of in that same energy too. Like you also really care about what they think and you're really worried about laying it out on the table. I think like you both see each other as really worthy partners and really um, like great people in general. And I feel like you re guys really care about, both of you really care about what the other person thinks. And so you're both too scared to like lay it all out on the table. Um, so I definitely think for some of you, this person might be laying it out on the table very soon, or actually I just got this, you, the viewer might be the person to lay it out on the table. And by laying it out on the table, this might prompt this person to offer some sort of commitment or stability within this connection. Um, and maybe not right now because there are financial challenges, but I do feel like your person is definitely in that mode of like, this person is a catch. I <laughs> am really into them. I really don't want to miss out on an opportunity to be with them. And I do feel like this is going to develop into something really, really special if it hasn't already. Um, and so, yeah, I honestly am now kind of like getting the vibe with this page of swords that actually, um, you know, maybe you've been like this close to telling this person how you feel or, or vice versa. And you always stop yourself because you kind of look back at that worry and you're like, oh, I don't know if I should. And then you get like really nervous about it. Um, but I don't think I would be very worried here because there's a lot of passion here and we also have this could be the one. So lots of lots of good signs so far um and you know maybe if you're you've never been the person to tell someone how you feel you've always waited because like honestly the empress is totally in that vibe of like letting people come to to her to them i'm saying her because the empress but like you both are sitting i feel like you both are waiting for the other person to um open up and and kind of because I feel like it's both agreed upon that like there is a connection here and you're both into each other, but the depth and the intensity of it, I feel like has not been discussed because of you both being afraid to be honest with each other. And so it's really going to take one of you to get out of your throne and um, be straight up with the other person and be like, look, look, this is how I'm feeling what do you think? <laughs> and I think that will, um, I think that will help move this connection along if that's what you're looking for. But of course, take it how it resonates. Um, I get really scared giving advice to people because I don't want to like give you the wrong advice. So, but I trust all of you to do what is best for your situation. And if you've been looking for confirmation that it's safe to like come forward and speak your truth, um, this is it. So let's go ahead and look at channeled messages from your person. So what would pile one's person say to pile one? We have you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So for some of you, maybe um, this person had to leave because of work or something of that nature. We will be together again. And I completely agree with that because there's a lot of passion here. This could be the one. You and I were too young. So yeah, maybe you guys met when you were both pages and now you have grown into um, much more mature adults and you've kind of come into yourselves and and you you know a little bit more oh and you know what i just noticed too um if you actually if you watch the golden girls you'll only notice this if you watch the golden girls but um this character's name is dorothy and in this two of swords card dorothy is her hair and like the way she's dressed is very similar to how she was in the early seasons. And then this page of swords is kind of like mid the mid seasons. And this empress is like what she looks like in, in the last couple seasons. So that's actually really cool. I never noticed that before. And I think that that, that might be speaking to um, both of your guys' progression. And 
um, maturing and becoming ready for this connection. It's possible that maybe if you guys haven't talked to one another or been around each other in a long time, you know, maybe it's time to extend that communication because it, it definitely, if you think your person is a King of Pentacles or an Empress because um, the energies could be switched, I would definitely, you know, think about reaching out because I... I think that it will benefit you no matter what the outcome is, essentially. And then on the back of the deck, we have, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So maybe you guys were in some kind of separation and maybe that's what your person needed to kind of grow up um, or for the both of you. But I definitely feel like you guys have triggered some kind of um, spiritual upgrades in one another just from interacting with each other and all of that. So let's see what else we have here. We have, I have so many regrets. I love you so much. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person thinks that you are all that in a bag of chips. Um, I think I've already said that twice and I don't think I've said that in 70 years. So maybe your person says that and that's why I feel like I need to say it because I don't, I don't say that phrase very often. Um, and we have three pop out on the ground upright. Yeah, so we have, I wish I knew where your head was at, which really makes sense with this worry and this two of swords, like your person might be wanting to come forward, but they're a little nervous. And we have this distance kills me. So yeah, you definitely, y'all are both kind of sitting on your own thrones, not trying to uh, be the instigator of reunion or something of that nature um and then we have you're too good for me and I definitely think this speaks to how highly this person thinks of you and sees you and even if you're like um this person is totally good enough for me like they're insane I I think like if that's your feeling then I think you're right because I think that you guys just both see each other you both put each other on a pedestal and you both really see the value in one another and so you know when you really care about what a person thinks it's really hard to um let your walls down and be really vulnerable um or the, be the first person to be vulnerable especially since you don't know how that person is going to take it but if you feel ready to speak to this person and let them know your true feelings if you haven't already of course i would encourage it i think that i think that you're ready i think that you're both ready and i feel like your person really misses you and yeah they think you're great so let's go ahead and look at your charm so pile one's person Okay, and look at that. We have the bee. <laughs> After I was saying the bee's knees. So yeah, your person could be working very, very hard right now, trying to increase their abundance, just trying to um, improve themselves and improve their worth to you. We also have the drum set. And with all the sexual energy in this pile already, like, as I like to say with the drum set, your person wants to bang you. So, uh, yeah, those feelings haven't gone away at all. Or they could be trying to get your attention if you want a more, uh, PG interpretation. Um, we also have the arrow. So I do feel like there is positive movement forward or some kind of forward movement within this connection. We also have the angel, the harp, and the, I thought it was like, yeah, the little cross. So I definitely do think this speaks, oh my gosh, turn around. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to complain to the charm. Oh my gosh, it does not want to turn around. Little turd. Um, I definitely think this speaks to the divinity of this connection, like how divine it is. I think that this is definitely something that your angels are protecting and they've been waiting for the right time to have you guys reconcile. Um, but if you ever lose faith or, or doubt at this connection, um, just know that your angels are there and, and they're, they're rooting for you. They're here for you. Um, and they're not going to let anything like 
I guess they're just trying to say that that they don't I'm sorry I'm so like foggy <laughs> um, they are always gonna be doing what is of your highest good and so if you feel like you can trust your gut on something that usually means that it's a, a, a not of support from your angels, if you will. So if you ever feel like, um, if you're ever second guessing yourself, really try to um, listen to yourself and you'll be able to listen to them as well. We also have this intricate key. So I feel like it's really hard to maybe get both of you to open up. And right now there still needs to be some kind of action or verbiage. I don't know why that's the word I'm thinking, but uh, to, to kind of unlock both of your feelings, I feel like you guys are both kind of really holding them back. Um, we also have the record player. So this person could like collect records. I don't normally um, interpret this charm this way, but I definitely feel like this is more of a musical pile. And also, since I didn't already, we have tons of earth and air. So, Fergus. Oh my gosh. No way. I said Fergus again. I, for a lot of you, you're not, one of my past videos, I accidentally said Virgo and Taurus. And I combined them and said Fergus. And I just freaking did it again. <sighs> I am not on my game tonight. They could be a Virgo or a Taurus, or if they have both, they could be a Virgus, I guess. Um, if you got both Virgus piles, definitely let me know because that's that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, they could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or they could be one or both of you, and or you could be an air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I feel like you guys have a hard time thinking about this connection. Like, you guys get scatterbrained or something. Like, you're so... Because, like, I feel some a little bit of anxiety right now. And I feel just, like, like so tongue-tied and confused. And... <laughs> yeah. Y'all are... The reason you cannot tell that this is a soulmate is because you guys just have, like, strong feelings for each other. And you guys really value each other's opinions. And... Y'all are getting me tied up, so, uh, yeah. I definitely feel like there's a bit of a mirroring going on here as well. We also have the pineapple, and the pineapple to me is a symbol of, like, a really solid friendship. So I feel like on top of um, passion, I feel like you guys do have a strong friendship. I feel like you guys just have a lot of commonalities maybe you guys like to watch spongebob that will only resonate for a few of you but i felt like i needed to say it we also have this little peanut and i feel like this person just thinks you're really cute like really adorable um also i feel like you know because this is a shell i feel like you know you guys haven't really exposed all of your inner thoughts feelings and um wishes, if you will, with one another. We also have the batch stick. So this is saying, yes, this is a fiery, hot, hot, hot connection. Um, lots of passion here. You guys are a match and definitely are soulmates. We also have the moon here, which is Pisces energy, but also kind of talks about how there are definitely still things to unfold within this connection. Um, and it might confirm that maybe there are fears on both sides, but I definitely think this is an encouragement to keep moving forward because just because you don't know what the outcome is, like, doesn't mean it should stop you from going after what you want. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of depth here in terms of your feelings for one another. And we also have the blue charm, which represents the throat chakra and communication. With that page of swords, there could definitely be communication coming from you or them very soon. We also have the frog. And I feel like this is how maybe your person feels or how you maybe you both feel this way about yourselves and you see the other person as really great. And so... With it on its on its back, I kind of feel like, you know, 
both of you really need to shed any um, low self-esteem you may have about yourselves because really the vibe that I'm getting from both of you is that you're both pretty great and um, y'all don't have any reason to be so hard on yourself. You don't deserve that. Like, be nice to yourself. We also have the, oh my god, we have the cat with the arched back and the spirit just told me something uh, a little saucy. Uh, I'm not letting this go 18 plus. They, they might really enjoy your booty and they might also really just enjoy the view from behind in um, certain situations. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for saying that. Um, that was just, I felt like I had to say it. And we also have the elephant, which really signifies one, overcoming obstacles, but also, you know, becoming wiser, being gentle, being kind. Overall, really good sign. I feel like I always get the elephant, like one of the elephants always pops out. Um, they're good people, or they're good elephants, I guess. And smile, it's the same in all languages. So I feel like, you know, just being kind to this person and um, showing kindness will have the best result, which you're probably like, yeah, no doy. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, I don't know why. I'm just feeling so slow in this reading like like slow and i'm having trouble getting the words to come out it must be all of this freaking pentacles energy and i'm just saying my fiery ass does not like it i'm, I'm like i literally have been all day like go 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 and now all of a sudden i sit down and do this freaking reading speaking of f um and it's like I'm talking at a snail's pace and can't comprehend anything. So if that energy resonates with you, I'm definitely picking it up. So we have the letter F, we have the letter E, we have the letter N, we have the letter P, and we have the letter N again. So we have two N's, um, a P, an E, pen with that page, maybe they'll write to you, like text, email, physical letter if they're feeling old fashioned. Um, but yeah, I'll do a little close up of the charms. Hopefully you can actually see them. But all right, I think that's where I'm gonna leave this reading pile one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I apologize so much in this reading. Maybe that's a problem too. Maybe you just apologize for yourself too much. Um, but I'm also guilty of doing that too. So it's a lesson we can both learn. But I just felt really slow in this reading for some reason. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you were able to make it through with all of my babbling, uh, I'm impressed. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed. Didn't I already say that? Oh my goodness. I am just <laughs> struggling today. Um, but yeah, if this reading resonated, definitely let me know down in the comments. I really, really enjoy reading them and seeing what you guys have to say. You guys like make me laugh all the time. Um, definitely like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to read your cards and charms. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is when you're watching, and hopefully you'll come back and visit me again because I promise I'll be less tongue-tied and slow. Bye! Hey there, Pile 2. If you guys chose the Opalite Thumbstone, I believe it's called, uh, this is your reading and we are looking at, is your person a soulmate? So I definitely, with these readings, like to say, no matter what I say, at the end of the day, <laughs> right? Um, only you know if a person is a soulmate or not. However, I'm really getting heavy karmic vibes here. Um, truthfully, I feel like this person is an opportunist and they're really focused on themselves and their own goals. The fact that we have the four of coins on the back of the deck, I feel like 
just showcases how um, withdrawn their energy is. And I honestly feel like this hanged man really represents you. And it makes me upset because I feel like you guys are like waiting for this person to open up to you and be truthful with you. And they're not giving you that courtesy. It's like you've tried to get clarity from them and they're like wishy-washy and they give you enough to, to keep the connection going, but they don't, they're not straightforward. And I feel like too, they might like when you're vulnerable with them because I feel like they don't extend the same courtesy. And so it, to them, it might feel like they might feel safe because they know that you're being upfront with them, but they don't have to give that back, essentially. They don't have to, I mean, we have no cups here. I feel like this person is very emotionally unavailable. And in general, I feel like they're focused on their own material success. With Especially with that being on the back of the deck, I think first and foremost, this person is focused on the 3D and what's going on there. And with this purpose card, I know what I'm here to do. I think that your person is really, really focused on themselves and their own achievements and working their way up the ladder. Honestly, um, it's possible that they really like having you by their side because of selfish reasons. Like you might be very physically attractive or you might be very intelligent and articulate. Like there's something really special about you that your person sees a lot of value in, but I feel like they see it for kind of selfish reasons and for their own benefit. And I think that, you know, I feel like they know exactly what they're doing and part of them, like, they don't want to not have you in their life, but they don't want to fully embrace you into their life either. There's definitely unhealed wounds here with this obstacles card. Um, this person, you know, literally, like, is keeping you locked out of their heart space. And it's possible you might be feeling a bit let on. And... I feel like spirit is really telling you guys to think long and hard if this connection is truly worth it. We have you deserve love and retreat. And I feel like you need time to disconnect from this person so that you can look at this connection objectively and recognize if this person was truly treating you the way you deserve to be treated and was serving you? Was this connection really serving you? I feel like you've given this person a lot. Like, honestly, this is a general reading. And so only take this if it resonates. But even then I have a hard time saying it because I feel like these words are, are incredibly overused. But there is, it definitely kind of feels like maybe there's like an empath narcissist paradigm here. Um, or something of that nature. I do feel like this person, at the very least, is incredibly selfish and maybe a bit egotistical. I mean, the fact that we have the Seven of Swords, this is the Seven of Swords in this deck. And with that being reiterated, like, Spirit is really trying to stress that your person is not being honest with you and about something. And with this vulnerability, I feel like this person loves when you share with them but they don't extend that same courtesy. They want to feel like they know you inside and out, but they don't want you to know them inside and out because maybe they're afraid. Maybe they don't want to invest their time or energy. 
They feel like they already know what their purpose is. They're focused on that. And honestly, I feel like this connection is blocking you guys from understanding your purpose. And I feel like it's blocking you guys from understanding what you truly deserve. I think that, you know, the fact that we have the you deserve love and the retreat, I feel like this connection is, I hate, like, I hate this, but I feel like in some way this connection has really messed with your self-worth or your self-esteem and ugh, it pisses me off. Like, not at you guys, obviously, but it just makes me upset. Like, I don't want you guys to feel that way because, like, just because a person is treating you this way for their own selfish reasons does not mean that you are any less of a person, that you are not worth love, that you are not worth great, true, beautiful connections. Like, you do have soulmates. And I feel like this person, if you truly feel like this person is a soulmate, then I trust your judgment. But for a lot of you, I feel like this person is a karmic and they are meant to help show you who your soulmate really is. I feel like, you know, retreating and understanding that you deserve love is what is going to bring in this real and true and beautiful connection for you. Um, I know this isn't always the most fun stuff to hear. It's not fun to read either, but I feel like this is essential for you guys to know because if you guys have any doubts about this person, your gut is, is being honest with you. There's just a lot of, the thing that, that I guess I, I'm feeling most frustrated with is when I asked for clarification about the Seven of Swords, I got the Wheel or um, Wheel of Fortune. And so I'm not sure if this deception is related to maybe like just where this person is at in their life, their behaviors, they still have things that they need to learn, or if they just want to keep all of their options open for something that feels right. But ultimately, I feel like this person is not accessing their heart space with you. I feel like they're really keeping you locked out of something true and intimate. And at the end of the day, I feel like you're deserving of better. You deserve better than this. This is not like this sucks. Like, you're, like, this person, like, I'm just shaking my head at them, not you. I feel like, honestly, like, you have been very upfront with this person. You've been very genuine. You've been very kind. And they haven't extended the same courtesy to you. And, um, yeah, I just kind of want to push them in front of a train. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, let's look at your channel messages from them. Maybe we can get a little bit more insight into what's going on here. So what would Pile 2's person say to Pile 2? I'm becoming a better person. Okay, that's a good sign. Maybe we'll save them from the train at the last minute. I regret lying to you. Okay, so maybe there's some hope here. Or, you know, taking that mask off, they might be wanting to be more open. So it's very possible for a lot of you, maybe I'm picking up on past energy and you guys are in separation. So if that is the case, then I would say that that resonates. Well, I guess I can't say that that resonates because I don't know. It's up to you if it resonates. <sighs> I... Pile one's reading was a mess too. I've just kind of been all over the place mentally. We also have, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I honestly feel like that was maybe more this person to you. But honestly, if your person is a narcissist, um, which I do want to say that everyone has narcissism. It's it's a spectrum. Um, and it you have to be pretty like far down on the spectrum to be like have like narcissistic personality disorder but if your person is highly narcissistic or even possibly NPD um they're very good at like convincing themselves that even if whatever even if they 
were causing the majority or most or even all the problems, they'll find ways to blame you. And so I don't know, that's just kind of like a bit of a vibe I was getting from that card. And we also have on the bottom of the deck, I wonder if you are happy without me. And so if you're not with this person, I hope you are happy because they didn't treat you right. And I don't like seeing that ever, like ever. I, you guys are so worthy of love and a beautiful connection. And I'm so sorry that anyone ever treated you that way. And I'm just saying, whether we save him for the train or we push him, I support your decision whatever way. Okay, let's look at my channel messages and see what they would say. So what will pile two this person say to pile two? We have, I want you back. Um, we have, I get so lost in your eyes. That's kind of interesting because I was kind of focused on the eyes a lot in this pile. I didn't say anything about it. I was just like looking at the artwork, um, but like where the characters were looking. Um, yeah, so maybe it really like they really valued you for your physical beauty. I'm moving on. And on the bottom of the deck, there's things I'm not ready to tell you. So yeah, I feel like this person hasn't really been super honest with you. Um, well, yeah, I regret lying to you, doy. Um, they haven't been honest with you. They've been, and honestly, I feel like part of it too is that they're really jealous of you. Like, I feel like they wish they were on your level and they're just not. And I feel like the fact that you always take the high road really, um, maybe makes them upset because because they know that they don't or they recognize in hindsight that they don't and that you were the bigger person in the situation. And I think that they um, are a bit intimidated by that or, or jealous by that. Let's go ahead and look at your charms. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the cage here. So I feel like maybe this is more, it's kind of like two meanings to this. I feel like maybe you've been feeling trapped in this connection and you're kind of ready to be set free of it. Um, even if you guys aren't in contact, I feel like you're just kind of over feeling like this and, and tired of wasting your energy on it. And I feel like, you know, this person kind of has a cage around their heart. Like they don't, they don't want to open it. And this is like reaffirmed by this bottle with the green in it, because this to me, I specifically colored it green to represent bottled up emotions, that heart chakra. They're not releasing their heart chakra. We also have blessed this angel and this cross. And I definitely feel like this is a message from your angels that things are going to pick up. It's not going to be this way forever. Um, you do deserve love and you might need to take some time to heal, but your angels are watching you. Um, they love you very, very, very much. And they want you to know that they are here to help you get through with whatever you're struggling with. And, you know, just feel free to ask them, ask them for help and ask them for comfort, ask them to just make you feel better for a little bit. And of course, like, you know, when you're really, really, really upset or dealing with intense emotions, sometimes that can be hard, but really just trying to ground yourself and center yourself and, and just ask for support from your angels can, can help. And we have the door charm, which always talks about to me, you know, like when one door closes, another opens. And I feel like maybe it's time to close the door on this connection, at least for now. Um, 
because you've got some transforming to do. This butterfly here is all about transformation and I feel like this connection is helping you blossom. And truthfully guys, I like, if you're okay with me speaking um, on personal terms, I was in a connection very similar to this. And yeah, it was very hard to face that, um, I mean, I, I, we were dating, but to understand that, you know, I was lied to, I was deceived, and I was treated like I was less than. Closing the door on that situation and giving myself time to blossom and heal, like, that's how I got into tarot. That's how I got into a ton of different things. That's how I discovered myself. And... I know it really seems hard to understand why these things happen, but just trust that like these karmic situations that come into your life are still there for a reason and they're to help you understand who you're meant to be and you'll be okay. I know I know it might hurt and I know it might be really hard to get through and I know it might be hard to let go of, but at the end of the day, your your angels are with you, your guides are with you, the universe is with you, you are loved, you are supported, you are blessed. Lean on your animals, especially in this time if you have them or if you've think, been thinking about getting an animal, I would say go for it. Um, really just allow love into your life, true authentic love, and I feel like there's no more authentic love than love from an animal. Um, we also have this lucky charm. So I do feel like luck is on your side. And with seven, seven is often a lucky number as well. Um, so I do feel like there are blessings coming your way. Um, and, you know, I feel like for some of you, maybe the reason you don't want to let this go is because you don't want to start over. You don't want to reinvest. But it's important to remember that life is not a race. Um, Virgo energy is really represented here. I guess I didn't do signs, but I, I'm getting a lot of air. So Gemini, um, Aquarius, Libra, but also a lot of pentacles. So kind of the same as last pile. Last pile was heavy earth and air. So um, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Um, we also have the duck here. And so I do feel like I'm kind of getting more of like the... Uh, transforming card like vibe with this butterfly but also you know maybe a little message to reevaluate what's going on in your life and kind of get your ducks in a row and figure out what what can be um cleared out and what 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 no longer serves you we also have the letter n we have the letter i and we have a v so Vinny, kind of a name that I'm thinking of. Um, Vince, something of that nature, Vincent. Um, but yeah, we have V-I-N. Um, or maybe you will get an invite to some kind of event where you will meet someone um, better or... Yeah, take it how it resonates, but I will zoom in on these for you guys so i think that's all i have for you guys today pile two thank you so 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 much for watching and giving me the opportunity to read your cards and charms i really hope that this reading gave you some clarity and helped you understand your situation a little better and um helps you move forward on the right foot because you guys really do deserve love and um, you just deserve wonderful things and you deserve much more than what was shown in this pile today. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for all your comments of love and support. If this message did resonate, definitely let me know. I would um, love to give encouraging words um, to you guys. And yeah, definitely like and subscribe for more videos like this. Um, hopefully with a more positive message. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whichever it is, and hopefully you'll come back and visit me again soon. Bye. Hey there, Pile 3. If you guys chose the Herkimer Diamond, this is your reading, and 
this is the answer to whether or not this person is a soulmate. And to answer your question right off the bat, is this person a soulmate? Yes, 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 110 million percent, yes. Um, wow. Okay, first of all, we have a ton of major arcanas here. We have the Tower, we have Santa uh, Santa, Santa Muerte, which is death. Um, we have the Hierophant with wisdom. And all of these cards signify really heavy energies, really major energies. And I'm kind of getting so also for some of you, this person could be your twin. Um, I say that with hesitation only because, um, especially for my, some of my younger viewers, um, I can often, some of us don't even have twins. Some of us, you know, have not experienced enough life and love in order to truly understand that type of connection. Even I wonder if I've even experienced that. So like, it's, you're not the only person. For some of you, if you are like, oh, this person is my twin, this is just confirmation that it is. Um, but this is a harmonious, balanced, really beautiful card. I feel like for a lot of you, you're either in separation or coming out of a separation. And I feel like one of you was very aware that this was a very special connection. And the other person was maybe um, in lower vibrational energy, maybe stuck in fear, stuck in the past, um, stuck in, in just these disappointing energies, refusing to change, not being open to change. And I feel like maybe this person didn't fully open themselves up to you. Maybe they felt like they didn't have a heart. Like with this four of cups here, it kind of makes me think like, you know, they don't have any love to give because it's like they've been completely depleted. And I definitely feel like one of you was really ready for this and the other person wasn't. And something happened, I feel like major. Um, and maybe it wasn't um, intentional on either side. Maybe something happened. I feel like something happened where, I feel like this tower moment caused a separation and you guys could still be in it or you could be coming out of it. But trust in the fact that this tower moment was meant to happen because you both are undergoing spiritual transformations through this you are both meant so like what i think is what's like so cool with the santa muerte here and the awakening is like it was basically this had to happen so that there could be a death and a rebirth of yourselves because you both needed to grow and gain wisdom through this connection um the fact that we have fate here this is a destined partnership and we also have separation, passion, and true love. Um, I do feel like no matter what, this connection is going to come back together at some point. And I feel like this Four of Cups person is really going to be upgrading. I really feel like the Four, the, like, the four of Wands person has more emphasis on the Santa Muerte card and the Four of Cups has more emphasis on the King of Pentacles. Although I do, did just realize that the King of Pentacles popped up in every single reading that I did today and every single reading had a different vibe so that's pretty interesting but I feel like you're the four of cups person is really trying to increase their abundance and become more secure in themselves again so that they can be confident and I feel like the four of wands person is really just trying to um level up if you will um, mature more, understand more about life. We have a lot of water and that's what's interesting too is that the past two piles had a lot of air and a lot of earth and this pile has a lot of water and a lot of fire. Um, so definitely a lot of my water and fire people here. 
But with this back of the deck energy being the Three of Wands, the Three of Wands is all about expansion. And so I feel like you guys have needed this time apart to kind of grow into yourselves and understand yourselves because maybe you weren't necessarily ready for this connection. Um, but that doesn't mean that you won't be together again. Um, I feel like you guys were meant to learn things and understand more about life and about yourselves before you were truly meant to come together. I feel like it's very possible for some of you that you could end up having a family with this person if you don't already have kids with them already for a select few of you. Um, I definitely feel like this person is the type of person where they're not going to invest their energy unless they feel like it's truly worth it. I think they already saw you as worth it before, but you're upgrading in such a way that it's like you're both upgrading and it's just going to be more intense and more powerful than it was the first time. Because I feel like on both of your ends it was powerful, but I feel like it kind of made your person... I'm definitely getting more of the energy that you are in this Four of Wands and your person is the Four of Cups, but they can absolutely be interchanged. Um, but if you just notice like the, the woman skeleton and this is looking at this skeleton with his uh, snazzy sandals and you know, he's looking down, she's looking over at him and it's like, you know, she recognizes and acknowledges this connection, but he doesn't have a heart to give. He needs to be built up. He needs to learn from his past lessons. And what's interesting is that you both are at fours and then we have this five with wisdom. And I really feel like you both were meant to understand different things about one another through this separation. And I think one of the biggest things that you guys maybe struggled with is that maybe the, the feelings here were very confusing, but you kind of both understood them, but you never actually talked about them, if that makes sense. With this honesty card here, I feel like one thing you guys are learning in this separation is to um, clearly communicate and, and not be afraid to truly think about how you're, how, what you want to say and what you want your person to know and how you want to convey what you're trying to tell them. I feel like this tower moment happened possibly due to a lack of communication. I feel like maybe you both thought the other person was on the same page and you guys really weren't and it all kind of just came to a head and like crashed and burned <laughs> essentially. But the wonderful news is that this person definitely is a soulmate. Um, this is a very special, special love. Um, this is a destined partnership. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a really significant soulmate for you. And for definitely for some of you, a twin. Like, it's kind of interesting because it's almost like your mirrors in different, in different contexts, if that makes sense. Like, this Four of Cups, you're both mirroring each other in the fact that you were both refusing to see something. Like maybe you weren't real, maybe the Four of Wands person wasn't willing to admit that the Four of Cups person wasn't emotionally available. Maybe the Four of Wands person kept pushing for this connection and the Four of Cups person allowed it because they liked how the Four of Wands person made them feel. But at the end of the day, once they were alone, they recognized that they could not give what the Four of Wands needed. And you know, the Four of Cups person was maybe overwhelmed by this or was not ready and they didn't communicate to the four of wands person that maybe they're just not ready yet or they need time, but that doesn't invalidate how they feel about this person. But I definitely feel like there's huge transformations coming here, awakenings. Um, if you guys are in separation, like there will be a reconciliation. Don't, don't you worry. Like this is a very true, real love very deep, you know, with that Scorpio energy here. Um, with a lot of air and fire, so we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and we have a little bit of air, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And 
Yeah, I think I read all the cards. Yeah, one of the biggest things you guys are learning is to be honest with yourselves and honest with other people and speak your truth. I feel like you guys are going to be understanding a lot more. And the fact that this is the Hierophant card, I really just feel like... Um, you know, this is very divinely guided and, and, and spirit really had you guys meet for a reason in order to spark these awakenings so that this partnership could last and be true and be passionate and loving and everything it needs to be. Um, dogs or guitars may be significant to this connection as well. So let's go ahead and look at the channel messages from your person. So what would Pile 3's person say to Pile 3 if they could? I'm so attracted to you. I want you. So yeah, I think for a lot of people, maybe this person is like, okay, I've learned my lessons. I've got it figured out. I want to come back. I want you. That passion. Woof. Woof. Feeling that fire. Oh, okay. Uh, I left you before you could leave me. And I don't react when people mention you. And on the back of the deck, we have, I wish I could take back my words. And underneath that, we will be together again. Um, yeah, I think we will because this partnership is destined. Bitch. Oh, sorry. I just, the last reading was really heavy. And so I am just happy to have some positive energy here. <laughs> um, okay. My channel messages. I'm going to keep myself going okay what would pile three's person say to pile three so we have there's things i'm not ready to tell you important with that honesty they need to be honest um i want to be on your level and yeah i mean i really feel like the Four of Wands person is on a higher level than the other person, or maybe they just perceived it that way. You make me forget about the negatives in my life. And on the back of the deck, we have, you are my everything. And, oof, I can't bear to see you with anyone else. Well, then you better hurry your butt along because pile three is really awesome and somebody else might snatch them up. So come on, pile three person. Hurry along now. I'm sorry. I'm just excited for you guys. Um, yeah, this is like really heavy confirmations of a, like a soulmate connection. This is no matter what your situation is. If this is resonating for you, like trust your angels. Trust trust the messages that you're getting. You know, if you're watching reading after reading after reading, and you're getting the same messages over and over, like that's confirmation. Like, yes, you're not crazy. This, this is real. This is absolutely real. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I thought I had more, but I guess I don't. Okay. Let's look at your charms. Okay. So we have, oh yes, we have the perfect match. So this also to me speaks of twin flames. Um, so for some of you, this could definitely be a twin, but you guys are a perfect match and there is a lot of, of heat here. And this card honestly makes me think of this wisdom card that we just had. I kind of want to move it back. Um, if you can see like how there's like that shining bit, I don't know if you can see it, but like there's that shining bit like these pearls of wisdom but also the sun will come out in this connection and like there will be illumination there will be clarity which is kind of reiterated here with this clear quartz oh and the sun um leo energy really represented here um there will be illumination on this i feel like you both desire to have clarity here you both desire to have some understanding 
and you both are healing and I think that's important. You both are going through this healing process and you're getting strong again and knowing you're in rediscovering your worth and and staying true to who you are and I think that's beautiful and keep doing what you're doing. Spirit's proud of the healing that has already happened. We also have the arrow, which usually to me represents positive movement forward or just forward movement in general. So that is wonderful. We also have this little key. And so I feel like there are still parts of your connection and things to understand that, um, or things to learn that you will unlock in this connection. I feel like you both will unlock things or like, like, I say things, but I mean like aspects about yourself that you have yet to understand. We also have the teacup. So you might be hearing tea about this person soon. You might get, um, you might just hear from them or maybe they'll invite you for tea or something like that. Tea could just be significant. We also have the shell here, which makes me think of the high priestess and intuition. I feel like this is a very intuitive connection. You guys feel each other, even though you might not be near each other. And I just, I feel like, you know, you both might be clammed up right now, but that doesn't mean you won't open up. This did land um, on the backside. So uh, I feel like there's a desire to open up and be honest about what's going on here. We also have the record player. Um, so you might be hearing messages in music. You might be getting repetitive messages, the same messages over and over. Um, if you see or hear repeating things, definitely take them as a sign. And if you have any songs that randomly, like that you haven't listened to recently, get that like get stuck in your head, pay attention to those. Um, those are definitely messages. Um, and then we have smile. It's the same in all languages. So I feel like spirit's just reminding you to be positive, um, especially with all of this sunniness here, because that sunniness will come um, sooner rather than later. But it's better that you get into the vibrations of that happiness. Um, we also have the ducks. So it's like kind of spirit reminding you, hey, like get your ducks in a row, get ready for something like this to come back. And we also have the bushel of wheat and so this just makes me think of like reaping the benefits of your hard work having a bountiful harvest abundance um getting what you deserve and then we have the little gumball machine and to me this makes me think like one that there's tons of surprises waiting for you but also um I really think kind of um deeply about this charm and the sense of like, you really want this person and this person really wants you, but you don't get to choose how you guys come together, essentially. It's kind of up to fate. It's up to the color of the gumballs, up to the circumstances of whatever is going on and what you need to learn and what you need to understand. But at the end of the day, you're still getting a gumball. Like you're still gonna get this person back. And even if you have to go through a lot of like hard stuff, um, you know, you will still get that prize at the end. And I think there are extra blessings beyond just this connection waiting for you. So that's really exciting. And then we have the letter J, the letter I, the letter B. This person might like the cut of your jib. <laughs> um, your soulmate is Justin Bieber. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you can, uh, you guys are like really good at finding like different little anagrams in these, but I'll go ahead and hold them up so you can see them better. But I think that is where I'm going to leave this reading pile three. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and it resonated. Definitely let me know down in the comments if it did. Um, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to read your cards and charms. I really, really appreciate it. And definitely like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me because it helps me greatly and also helps me know what kinds of videos to keep making. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, and hopefully you'll come back and visit me again soon. Bye.